Hi guys and welcome to another episode of Kabir Considers. In this video, I'm gonna to react to a American national park with some of the biggest trees in the world. I mean, I think America is known for having some absolutely monstrous sequoia trees. Like some of them are like thousands of years old and I desperately wanna go see these trees in person. It's one thing seeing them, you know, on like a, in on video, but I wanna just stand there and just be like, <laughs> And this video here is going to show me where to go, what these trees are like, and I cannot wait. So let's do it. A four to five hour drive from Los Angeles and San Francisco, and just over an hour's drive from Fresno, are California's Sequoia and Kings Canyon National Parks. Did you just see that huge tree that they had to cut a hole in for the car to fit through? Gosh. Established in 1890, Sequoia National Park is named after one of the largest tree species on the planet and is home to one of the USA's highest peaks. Neighboring Kings Canyon lays just to the north, plunging 2,000 feet deeper into the earth than Arizona's Grand Canyon. Wow. Yet despite their differences, these parks share much in common. Their valleys have been shaped by the snow-fed cascades of the central Sierra Nevada, while from their soils rise giant sequoias, some of which first put down roots 3,000 years ago. Isn't that insane? 3,000 years ago, literally predates, you know, a lot of the religions that, you know, we, we know of today. 3,000 years. Imagine what, like, these, these areas were like when these trees were first planted. This, this sort of stuff blows my mind. It genuinely does. Long before the rise of the Roman Empire, Sequoia and Kings Canyon National Parks are living timelines that remind us that we have small parts in a story far greater than our own. After passing Sequoia's iconic entrance sign, follow Route 198 through the park's sunlit foothills into the dappled shadows of its conifer zone. look at the color like the contrast between the lush green and the the auburn red looks beautiful pull over at tunnel rock where generations of motorists left their mark before the road was rerouted in 1997 four miles on at hospital rock see the marks of even earlier travelers the wow. potwisha people who for centuries use this healing place as a winter encampment. Wow. Follow the hairpins ever upwards for another eight miles. Then turn left and follow the gentle melody of Yucca Creek into the depths of Crystal Cave. Dude, this place looks magical legitimately. Like, just look at this. Like, I, I feel like every, you know, picture that I've seen could be like a screensaver, like. Discovered by two park employees while on a fishing trip in 1918, these marble caves have been shaped and polished by snowmelt for over 100,000 years. Wow, what is that? These are stalactites, aren't they? Or stalagmites. I always get these confused. I think stalag stalactites grow down and stalagmites grow up. After exploring the park's subterranean worlds, turn your gaze skyward at the Four Guardsmen, a grove of thousand-year-old sequoias. Thousand but these are mere old. adolescents compared to what lays just beyond in the giant forest. Wow. 
call into the giant forest museum to learn more about the sequoia tree, named after the Cherokee scholar who created the first alphabet for his people and inspired the creation of writing systems for pre-literate languages all over the world. Which is somewhat ironic, for as you walk beneath the 8,000 sequoias of the giant forest, chance there's 8,000 of them. 8,000 of these massive trees. Cesar, you'll be lost for words. From the museum, take the Big Trees Trail, a wheelchair-friendly circuit where you'll find favorites such as Ed by Ned, twin sequoias whose combined footprint is as large as a swimming pool. Wow. Two miles on from the museum, pay your respects to one of the park's elder statesmen, General Sherman which rockets 16 stories into the sky and contains as much wood as an average 20-acre pine forest. Wow. So there's as much, there's in, enough wood in this one tree to make a 20-acre forest. It reminds me from of the tree from Avatar. Like, who's seen Avatar? Remember that big tree? I think it's called the Tree of Life. <laughs> yeah, it's giving me Tree of Life vibes. After straining your neck muscles looking up at one of the world's largest living beings, take the 10 minute drive to Morrow Rock. Climb the 400 steps up the bald granite dome which juts from the mountainside. To the west, look down on Route 198 which zigzags up from the valley floor. To the east, gaze out to the peaks of the Great Western Divide, piercing the clouds at over 13,000 feet. While to the north, feel the call of even more adventure from King's Canyon. I'm definitely going to this national park, 100%. Just an hour's drive from Morrow Rock is Grant Grove Village, the sole gateway to King's Canyon National Park. After learning more about the park's human and natural history at the visitor center, explore the General Grant Tree Trail. Peer into the fallen monarch, used by the U.S. Cavalry a century ago to stable horses, and Gamlin Cabin, the oldest remaining structure in the park. Then, stand before the General Grant, the world's second largest tree. What? Declared the nation's Christmas tree by President Coolidge in 1926, and a living shrine to those lost in war by President Eisenhower in 1956, the roots of this giant run deep into America's consciousness. Wow. Yeah, that's the thing. The roots of these humongous trees must just go on for like miles and miles, you know, just to get enough moisture to, to keep the tree alive. After bathing in the forest fragrances at Grant Cove, buckle up and hit the Kings Canyon Scenic Byway. Open from May to October, this incredible road snakes its way eastward, high above the Kings River. As the road descends and your grip on the steering wheel relaxes, Take a breather by the cool mists of Grizzly Falls and Roaring River Falls. After 30 wild, rocky miles, the road nears its end, delivering you into the lush valley floor at Zumwalt Meadow. Wander the boardwalk around this picture-perfect Sierra meadow filled with wildflowers, berries, and... That's lavender, I think. I, I think that's lavender, right? Birdsong, as the near-vertical granite giants, North Dome and Grand Sentinel, fill the sky. Grand Sentinel. That's a cool name for a mountain, isn't it? <laughs> Grand Sentinel. <laughs> Whether 
it's the vastness of Zumwalt Meadow or the giant sequoias which reach toward the heavens. No photograph, no video, no words. Just look, hold on a minute, hold on a minute. Look at the tree compared to the dude. <laughs> Mind-blowing, man. Mind blow. No video, no words can fully capture the sheer scale and spirit of Sequoia and Kings Canyon National Parks. This is a place that defies the limits of lens and language. A place where, as John Muir wrote, the snow melts into music and between every two trees is a door leading to a new life. Wow. The only way to experience this place is to step through that door yourself. This place does look amazing to be fair, absolutely amazing. I need to get there. Honestly, just the sight of those huge, enormous trees is really inspiring. Honestly, I genuinely mean that. It just, it really makes you, it puts you into perspective. Like, you know, they say these trees are like 3000 years old plus. That's like, you know, the average human lifetime is what, 85 years? So that's like 40, you know, for like, <laughs> imagine your family history going back, going back 40 generations. That is just, it's just mind blowing to me and I desperately want to see these trees really, really do. Thanks for watching guys and I'll see you in the next one.